really showing it. But our next two competitors, we got Elegant coming from SoCal and uh, Louie Money coming from Ooh. the northern part of California. We got a California battle right here. Man, this is going to be good, especially Louie. I feel like as of late, he is that dude. I've never spoken to Louie, but I have seen the way that people talk about him. He's basically like the dark wizzy of SoCal or something, man, with the way they just... Uh, Always say nothing but good stuff about him. Louis the homie, Louis Money, that's my dude, Louis. We got to get Louis to the next event. And now here he is, and he's ready to shine. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, he, it's it's so interesting because he made his come up on the very, like, end part of Smash 4 with the Mario. And then coming into this game, he was a Doc slash Fox main, obviously uh, leaning more towards the Fox. <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Mario still, he, he actually uh, got a win on ESAM at Frostbite with Doc. Oh, let's go. So he, his Doc does have some wins, but for the most part, like, 99% Fox, of course. We did actually see him go Falco on Mewtwo King. He does go Falcos on Heavy. So both players are going to start warming up right now. Of course, Elegant, the best Luigi in the entire Ooh. world, man. <laughs> you see him getting the shakes out there? <laughs> oh, yeah, you already know, man. Uh, you don't really got to mash in this game, but you know what? You know, it's just tradition at this point, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go, man. I'm very excited to see what Elegant does here. He is so good at using all of Luigi's tools, and we have a, a local... Uh, Luigi player here in the form of Scott, who has always been very good uh, just for our region in terms, but man, yeah. has Elegant really shown what Luigi can do. I've learned a lot from Scott, and of course from Elevant, seeing what this guy can do, and let me tell you, Luigi has a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, especially in the very beginning of the meta, everyone thought very, very lowly of the character, out, and myself included. I, I didn't think very highly of Luigi. Um, Elegant just stuck it through, even though everyone was telling mm -hmm. him, like, character's bad, just drop him, man, like, he just stuck through. He really loves the character, and he found so many crazy setups, so many Zare setups. Oh of course, there's a the zero to death, but even past that, man, you can do down throw at 50% into, like, up B in the air, or you can, like, set up down throw into down B at, like, kill percent. The character has a lot of great stuff out of grab and a lot of great edge guarding tools as well. You can set up the Zare so the plunger just drops down. Right. And it's just, it's pretty wild what this character can do on the offense. And I remember when this game was first coming out, people saw the animation for the new grab that Luigi had and they were like, oh man, his grab is trash. But then you look at the frame data and it's like, wow, it has it's the same bad. frame data as a regular grab, but it's a tether. I'll take that any day of the week. Oh yeah, exactly. And of course that uh, that tornado that oh. Luigi has as well, it is a uh, intangible frame too. Wow, <laughs> it looks like we got, wow, uh, this is, wow, this is crazy. <laughs> Luis is going Mario. I haven't <laughs> seen Luis play Mario ever, <laughs> in this game at least. <laughs> Hey man, maybe he thought the situation called for it as we see he's trying to get some combos on the Elegant here, but Elegant making great use of that Luigi Tornado to break out of any sort of combo string. It means he has to be frame tight with his conversions if he wants to make sure that he's getting his maximum amount of damage. Yeah, I guess Luis does not want to play that Fox matchup. Uh, Elegant definitely well versed in that. There's a lot of Foxes in SoCal, and that down tilt is so quick. Okay, now right back to the platform. Gonna go ahead and air dodge right down to the center of main platform here and regain stage control. Trying to go for a back air, and I like that. Oh, no, no, oh, I don't. I don't man. like it. I take it back. <laughs> that was gross. Oh, no. Definitely yeah. not what he wanted, man. You definitely don't got that fox recovery, <laughs> my man. And right there, Luis sinking a little Ooh. bit too low. Gets the two frame. This should be the back nice. air to seal it out. No double jump means no mix up here for Elegant. Yeah, and I'm glad that he had the ability to recognize in that exact moment. All you have to do is go off stage and hit him. There's so many dropped edge guards where they're so guaranteed. They don't have a double jump. They don't have an air dodge. They don't have a mix up. But people just allow them to get back to the ledge. But Louis not allowing that to happen. Luis is no coward. <laughs> exactly. Stop being cowards, man. <laughs> right into the fray, baby. When up smash, up smash, up smash. No cowards, baby. <laughs> when they got no air dodge and they got no double jump, quit being a coward. Get out there. Just beat them up, man. <laughs> Go be the bad man. Yeah, I mean, sometimes that's what a lot of players <laughs> just lack, you know, just like the general confidence in their, in their ability to like go for a certain edge guard or go for a certain ledge trap. And that's what separates the good from the great, man. When it comes to a lot of these top players, they are very confident in their abilities. I like that spot dodge and the down smash coming out from Luis here, trying to get more damage, keeping my man in the corner. But Elegant saying, you know what, let me just go ahead and hit you with a little bit of a tornado off the top there. Right, beautiful, nice grab conversion, securing that KO, and now securing himself a lead as well. Yeah, right off that setup, and I was telling you earlier before, just like I said, man, that grab, everything comes from the grab for Luigi. He can get the zero to death, mid percents, he can get the, the uppercut, up B, or he can just twirl on him at later percents, man. He just grab every time. And you can just see the amount of, or rather the lack of traction that he has on that tornado, but it doesn't even matter. What a beautiful read on the roll-in coming out from Luis there, charging the up smash and securing the KO. 
Yeah, that Roll, I mean, right there we saw Roll get blown up, but I feel like Roll is definitely an option that a lot of people kind of sleep on. If you mm -hmm. watch uh, Leo play, aka the best player in the world, he actually oh, rolls he quite really? a bit. Yeah, he actually rolls quite a bit. So, I mean, dashing is really good, but don't forget, you still have that option of a roll in your arsenal of movement, and it's still pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I know neutral getup is busted, but <laughs> you don't got to pick it every single time. We're seeing that time didn't quite work out, but hey, it will in the future. There's the dash attack. Okay, we're going to get a grab, but that frame two intangibility coming out from that tornado, it is a very, very good get off me tool, anti combo tool with that. And that's going to be something really good against a combo character like Mario. And it looks like Luis is gaining some momentum here. Stuffed out the double jump. Nice. Catches that as well. And it should be a KO if he goes out and does the back air. Yes, he does, Korean. No cowards allowed. We don't got any cowards at this point in the bracket. <laughs> and and none, Luis showing that, none. hey, man, if you got no double jump and you're trying to missile back on the stage, I will kick you in the face. Mm -hmm. And just like that, Luis will take game one, man, after that unfortunate SD and the Mario coming through. And like I said, this is my first time seeing Luis bring out the Mario at such a high level of bracket we usually see him on the fox he got top eight at smash con with the fox and uh falco but usually when i see the mario it's it's a dr mario mm -hmm. but uh, hanging up the ph <laughs> gotta, gotta put the stethoscope uh, <laughs> on the dresser for a little bit wants to get nice and pretty got the uh tuxedo mario on of course but looking like doesn't even matter as elegant starts off this game two with an explosive combo it's going to be up to luis here to go ahead and try to make up just a little bit of this damage that he got there Okay, there's that. I mean, that tornado is very good, but it does have quite a bit of lag. Luis taking advantage of that. Here's that back air pressure. Oh, right up and over and just staying clear, staying away from this grab range. And then, like I said, grab, grab, grab. You're going to hear us say it time and time again. And that's what Luigi wants, man. He gets everything started off of that. Uh -huh. So Luis just doing a really good job spacing around it. Now, granted, Luis is at the percent deficit here. But one thing I'm liking from him is that he is mixing up what he's going to do after the down throw. Before we saw him go for the down throw, immediately dash and then wait because he knows that tornado is coming. And now he went for the immediate attack to see if Elegant was going to do something different, and he didn't. So the next time, we're going to see what option is he going to pick after the down throw. Oh, my God. And we charging out here. And that's sometimes you got to you gotta bait him with the five-second charge, man. And then right into, this, right into the super spot dodge, bros. <laughs> Top-tier gameplay coming out from Elegant there. Going for the full charge into the spot dodge, man. Spot dodge, such an annoying option to deal with in this game. But, hey, man, you have to abuse it if you want to be at the top. Dude, you know how you know, how you know this game is, like, so balanced? Every character has the best move. Small dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Every character. I'm, I'm not going to say you're wrong, because guess what? You're right. You're right, brother. <laughs> Spot dodge. Ain't nothing better. Yeah, in this game, this particular game of Smash, uh, for some reason, it's the only one, but you can actually cancel your spot dodge by four frames if you buffer an attack. So that's why you see spot dodge such a prominent option in the current meta. Mm -hmm. not, uh, they're, they're probably not going to change. There's actually an in-game tip that tells you to do that. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? Oh, no. <laughs> like in the loading screen, it's that's just so like, you do it right. They, they, they definitely know about it. We had QB and Renai on this. They let this happen? <laughs> Come on, man. They're like, you know what? Maybe this time, ultimate, dude, spot dodging. Hear me out, man. <laughs> this is the game where yeah. spot dodging's king. I'll take it over tripping, but with that said, <laughs> going right back into the match, it looks like uh, Luis and Elegant have managed to keep this entire thing even. We saw Luis hanging on the shield a little bit too long there. Elegant spot dodged. Well, if you're going to stand there, I'm just going to grab you. Ooh, the parry. Oh, try to go for the drop oh. zone. Is there no jump here? Oh, man, barely getting back onto the stage. Man, and Elegant is lurking. He wants this kill. We've seen all these forward smashes. Okay, and a little bit of a delay coming out from Luis there. And using the get-up attack for the invuln on the attack. But, oh, that should be free punish. Oh, he skipped so far. I thought he missed it. Yeah, I actually thought he was not going to hit that. Oh, and there is the tornado get off me. But great DI coming out from Luis. You can actually get cross up on that DI and die very, very early or get the correct DI. And look Ooh. at that. He's still living. Okay, that's a good man. That's a punish. Oh, or not. Oh, man, I'm oh. out. Or not. Oh, oh the flash? parry. And then he does something fancy yeah. like that. You know? Because <laughs> I was like, I'll flash out a shield. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay. We good. We good. We good. Everybody's back. Oh, oh my god, again! My tornado's better than yours, <laughs> though! <laughs> Mine's oh, got man. intangibility! <laughs> And with that said, man, of course, now one of the patches before, Luigi did kind of lose the ability to get full intangibility uh, off, like, the platforms, but still has it as a get-off-me tool. And now, even using it to ledge trap, but still, this has been so even, Korean. I mean, just yeah. look at the damage. Look at how they're staying toe-to-toe. -to -toe, but this is a nice lead for Elegant. He's building up here. Yeah, right there. Now, everyone must be thinking, why didn't you just do the zero-to-death? But uh, <laughs> just a fun fact that the zero-to-death can get smashed the eye, and most of these top players will know how to do that. So Elegant just modifies his combo to get the optimal damage against some of these players. Oh, man. 
Oh, that's a shark. Oh, it doesn't quite get the juggle there, but he was able to bait out the air dodge and the up smash out of shield coming from Elegant here, looking to seal out the stock. One or two more good hits on Luis, and that could be all she wrote. Yeah, and right now, Elegant has such a commanding lead, and like you said, just trying to close out the stock. Dash attack, a move that was like pretty much unusable in the last game. Now, very, very good tool mm -hmm. for Luigi that can actually kill as well now. So I'm, I'm very glad that they rounded out a lot of these characters in Ultimate. Ooh. There's a plunger, <laughs> yep, catching and ha hanging too long, man. And that plunger is really, really good for forcing your opponent to pick some kind of ledge option. He's just throwing it out over and over. Hey, man, trying to pull the string and the bait into the up smash. Elegant is amazing there, throwing out the grab after grab after grab after grab. He's like, I'm not trying to get hit by that, so I'm going to jump. Guess what? Later. Yeah, and right there, he, he actually set up the grab, and it actually lingers as a hitbox, too. So uh -huh. you, you saw how much area he was taking up, right? He set up the Zera, the grab, the plunger was out in front of him, and then he just covers the rest of the area with the up smash. Like, where do you go? And Luis did not have the lead, and we saw that Elegant was actually doing retreating options. Remember, we right. saw the, the pivot grabs, the runaway up smashes. So Luis knew he had to eventually try to find his way in because Elegant wasn't going to go overextend into him. And just right there, really, really clean stuff from Elegant. Just really close it out without making too many crazy. Oh my God. Yo. <laughs> He's going in <laughs> with the Elegant shimmy, shimmy. Shaking it out. Swa la la la. <laughs> <laughs> my man was, had some fritters on him or something. But here we and go. You, you guys think you guys got footsies, man. Talk to my man Elegant, bro. He be Ooh. moving out here. <laughs> he said his milkshake is better than yours, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Elegant giving us a little bit of a show, both in and outside the game as we go right into this game three, one, one apiece. We're going to see who's going to be able to get the lead here in this game three, though. And that's one thing I just personally love from, uh, about Elegant. Of course, he is from my region, so, you know, uh, got to show the SoCal love, but he's also full of energy and personality, and he's just really fun to hang out with. Oh, man, <laughs> and that plunger is so good. It's so good. He set that up from a Zarin comboed off of it as well, so just really good neutral ah. tool. Oh, and this back throw? Oh, no, going for the down throw, oh. down B. And it was actually a very smart idea as well. He was able to bait out the air dodge, but couldn't place the tornado in the correct spot. Yeah. Very, very nice awareness coming from Elegant, though. Okay, we're going to go for the down throw, gets the air dodge. Wow. Yes. The deepest of nares. Do you have the double jump? Oh, yes, did? Elegant does. Oh, that's another one. And wow, he doesn't oh. get it. Oh and Elegant God. makes it back. He made it, then he kills. OK, OK, okay we, 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 we did. Yeah, right, all right, all right. Chill, I know chill, the chill. future you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> and Elegant gets the dash tech, but this time gonna go with the up smash out of shield. No fancy stuff here, but man, Elegant right with the revenge kill. Yeah, immediately met with the Doc Martin to the face. Won't be living much longer after that, but still, they have been so neck and neck this entire time, and it's so interesting to watch, but in moments like that where Elegant gets that grab combo around 0%, oh, it's so much harder for Louis to go ahead and get that money back. Yeah, it's so much damage, so mo much momentum, and even if you do flip it on him, especially at low percent, that's when the character's gonna have very right. little amount of hits done, so the tornado's gonna be even more of an option. <laughs> He's been trying to figure out his way around, and honestly, he's been doing a good job. He's like, right here, got two hits in, and he was like, ah, can I get this third? Maybe it was a little bit slow, and Elegant was able to get out. But even then, still keeping the percents. Uh, I'm not going to say roughly even, because, I mean, at this point, Elegant is just one hit away, but Louis keeps himself in the corner. This could be a very quick tied turn here. Yeah, and that, that tornado is such a big deal because the combo that Louis was oh doing God. was that ladder combo. He's about to get the platform reset, too, with the up air string. That could have been his life. I've, I've seen Mario's. Pretty much Mario's one of the few characters that could actually still ladder combo in this game. Oh, oh man. Forward smash for forward smash. But Elegance is the one that's going to connect here. Now he's up a stock here. And, man, this is really big. I mean, game three oh is a very big game oh, in the yes. whole entire set because if yes. it does go to game five, you're going to have that counter pick advantage. Oh, my God. The edge guard game we've seen thus far from Luis has been so good. Brandon didn't get the KO there, but I love all the options he's picking. He's throwing for the dash attack to go ahead and try to two-frame the recovery. He's making sure he's looking at Elegant's jumps to go ahead and abuse him as much as possible. We saw the, the roll read. He did it again. Oh, man. And he got it. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, that that's when you know you got someone <laughs> shook. Like, I just read you for rolling, and you still going to roll, man? I'm, let me just take that stock <laughs> real quick. It was all crap. I was a little bit early. <laughs> <laughs> Clocking into work, trying to get that overtime. And I like it, man, bringing it back, but still a little bit of a percent deficit we're seeing from Luis. But, you know, just one grab. We're going to see if he's able to bait out the offer from Elegant. Oh. No. <laughs> that was so good from Elegant, just reacting to that right there. Luis thought he could catch him off guard mm -hmm. with the early up B, maybe catch him slipping, get a couple coins. But, man, right there, Elegant just repositioned himself right to the ledge, and what a punish. I got to say, man, that was optimal. I will agree with you, man. You can say optimal just like that with that exact enunciation mm -hmm. one more time. Optimal. 
him up. Yes, and just like that, man, he took that sock and he did a lot of damage. That <laughs> upbeat out of shield is so good. <laughs> he just really likes to, to shake it up. Huh? Yeah, he, he, he has like to keep himself thing. pumped. Okay, I Because in Smash 4, you have to do the, the mash, right? So, like, I, I would talk to Elegant and he would be like, yeah, there's some tournaments where I don't do good because I'm just, like, physically not mm, there. He's like, trying to keep the blood flowing. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, keep it. The blood I appreciate flowing. it. With yeah, man, because... Uh, a lot of these players, they be battling out here, man. This is, uh, do, doing this, I mean, you might be sitting down and only pressing buttons with your fingers, but it takes a lot of energy. But now at this point, we do have the character switch coming out from Luis. You were talking about it earlier. You were much more familiar with this Mario. Look, the Dr. Mario, or rather, Dr. Mario. And now he's out to play finally. But will this finally be the answer that he's looking for? No. Nope. Oh, and that's definitely man. not it, man. Gets hit by the guacamole uppercut Woo. into the heavens. Yeah, and that, that hurts. That move kills very early. We've only been seeing it in this game and the last game. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do it out of shield as well, and you can be reverse it. So, man, elegant. Look at oh. what this man is doing with all this momentum on his side. There's the forward smash, though, coming out from Luis, trying to strike back. Uh, Dr. Mario, oh. the, the one thing you do sacrifice is you, you get more power. So your moves hit harder, and your up be out of shield does kill. But you lose a lot of that speed and air mobility. Yeah, it's a big, big deal. Someone like Luigi is going to be zaring all the time. When did, oh my god, did he just green missile him? Oh, and there's the double jump, and that is your stock. Ooh. And just like that, Elegant what? popping some poses for the camera, <laughs> too. Damn. I was crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right. He ain't three-stalking me, though. Chill, yeah, chill. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's not looking too good for Luis right now. Down to full stock and potentially the last match of the set if he can't find a way to get the dub right here. And Elegant oh, with oh, the extension. Oh. Holy cow. My goodness. Elegant, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> Elegant. Oh, how do you hug someone after you do that to him, Elegant? <laughs> how do you do that? How do you do oh. that to a man and hug them, oh. Elegant, please? <laughs> elegant, please. Oh, do you, do you guys got the replay on the hug. I want to see who initiated it. Because <laughs> that would be some BM. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, Damn. dude. Even if you just the 0 to 90 was crazy, and Elegant was like, just for you guys watching at home, you know what? Let me just end it with another one. Right off the top we go, and what a two-stock finish coming out from Elegant Man. And Jeez, this kid is crazy with that momentum. Okay, 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 all right, yeah, we we chill, we chill, we chill, yeah. yeah. And he's I mean, cool, he's cool, he's cool. <laughs> but Matt, I mean, Elegant and Luis are also close friends. Elegant used to travel up to NorCal all the time during the Smash Four days just to like hang out with the NorCal <laughs> homies. So they're definitely really close friends. Uh, you know, an <laughs> another day, and uh, you know what? Elegant did that kind of stuff to him in Smash Four, just in a in a different manner. Definitely looked him in the eyes and I kicked your ass. <laughs> <laughs> but with that said, man, that was very fun to watch. Very yes. entertaining. What a way to go. That was probably another top 12 qualifier as well, I imagine, right? I probably yep. have to double-check Black, but I'm assuming that means Elegant will be playing tomorrow on the winner's side. Yeah, and Elegant, man, really just glowing up at this point because at the beginning of Ultimate, like I said, this kid was in a slump. It was really, really tough because you have to figure out, like, when your characters get changed that much, you really got to dig mm -hmm. deep and figure it out, you know what I mean? So I'm glad that Elegant's finally figured out his character, doing really, really well. But we're going to take a quick commercial break, guys. Make sure you stay tuned for some more action.